President Putin actually sent a, a draft treaty that he wanted NATO to sign to promise no more NATO enlargement. That was what, what he sent us. And that was, that, that was a precondition for not invade uh, 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 Ukraine. Of course, we didn't sign that. So he went to war to prevent NATO, uh, more NATO close to his borders. Flashback. This is fundamentally not about NATO expansion. No, it's never about NATO enlargement. It's not about NATO. It's not about NATO expanding toward Russia. This was never about NATO. It's absolutely nothing to do with NATO expansionism. And it has nothing to do with NATO. This, this is not, not about, about NATO. It's not about NATO. It's not really about NATO. This is not about NATO. Seriously, it's not about NATO. This was never about NATO. It was never about NATO. Let's be honest. This doesn't have anything to do with NATO. Nothing to do with NATO at all. Yeah, he's claiming it's like security purposes, but we can see the clear reason. <clears throat> but NATO is not the reason. This is not about NATO expansion. This is about the democratic expansion. Ukraine bans religious organizations. We are protecting democracy right now. Ukraine is banning political parties. Because it's a democracy. Ukraine restricts books and music. It's about democracy. Ukraine won't hold elections. It's about democracy. And it's not about NATO expansion. This war in Ukraine is not about NATO. It's not about NATO. It's not about NATO. It has nothing to do with NATO. Nothing to do with NATO expansion. It's not about NATO expansion. Nothing to do with, with NATO. It isn't really about NATO. It's not about NATO. It's not about NATO enlargement. In fact, it has nothing to do with NATO. It's not about NATO encroaching. So it's not about NATO. NATO is just as a fictitious, imaginary adversary for, for, for Mr. Putin and for Russia. It was never about NATO. That's not what it's been about. It's been about him trying to expand his sphere of influence. Hang on. I mean, the two are not mutually exclusive. Obviously, Russia has wished for a sphere of influence over Ukraine. But if the West had not challenged Russian interests so directly, I think that there, there was a, a chance to avoid this war. He wanted us to sign a promise never to enlarge NATO. We rejected that. The reason why Putin invaded Ukraine is because of his evil. Evil. It's about that Putin wants to rebuild Soviet empire of evil, like President Reagan told. It's about Putin being sick. I don't know how you negotiate peace with a madman, but nobody negotiated with Hitler. People are comparing him to Hitler. To Hitler. And remember Hitler. He's a Hitler. We're back when the Nazis invaded Poland. This is exactly the same what Hitler was doing to Jews. This is the same. Uh, Putin will not stop. Uh, Putin is reminiscent of Hitler. Hitler. This reminds me of Hitler. 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 He's the new Hitler. Well, Hitler. This is about a butcher. I'm Absolutely. trying to kill people everywhere in the world, just not Ukraine, Syria, all over the place. I hear you. Uh, Senator Lindsey Graham, always great to talk to you. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, straight ahead.